I want to show you step by step how to use ChatGPT to replace your manual trading. Now, GBT has only been here for two years, so you're going to have to kind of think in the future with me a little bit here and ask yourself this one question. First off, do you think you're going to be trading for more than the next 10 years or the next five years? Okay. Do you think you'll be on the computer for the next five, 10 years? Okay. So my situation was, hey, I was a, you know, internet guy, I guess, for my whole life. I loved the computer and built stuff and businesses, yada, yada. Anyways, that led me to trading. Well, that led me to crypto and crypto led me to the moon. And then the moon led me to trading. And trading led me to emotions and trading and actually how much harder it is than it looks. And that led me to, hey, there's got to be a better way to this. Well, I met somebody that was trading algorithmically and was like, oh, I've heard of this before, but I didn't think it was actually, I didn't think you could do it from your crib. I didn't think you could do it from your crib, dude. What? How, how are you doing this? Okay. Let me investigate this a little bit. Long story short, I had to learn how to code which I was scared to do my whole entire life because I thought it was just for the super smart people. Had to learn how to code, had to learn how to generate alpha. Anyways, I've been at this for about four years now and two years ago, AI was released and I went from like, okay, at coding to be able to code anything because now I, I know the basis of coding and the AI can take that from there. Now you're in a unique situation if you've never coded before. Because now you can just be like, hey, ChatGPT, teach me how to code in Python. And you can literally just go as slow or as fast as you want. And it'll, you, it's just about you putting the time in. And you already put the time in every day. You're looking at charts, analyzing charts, all that stuff. What I quickly saw was trading is way harder than, than uh, most people talk about. And, you know... <clears throat> the emotions will get get to you quickly. So there's got to be a better way to this. We already know the bots are here. They've been here for decades. So why not play that side of the game? Because I don't know how to code, bro. Okay, but now we can learn how to code with ChatGPT or YouTube. I, I use YouTube. But now as I'm deeper into this game, I use ChatGPT. So I want to show you everything. I want to show you my process here. I'm just going to get right to it and show you the process of how to use ChatGPT to pretty much remove the need to trade by hand. So this is the process I've come to over the last few years of how to automate your trading. And now I literally do this with GPT and I'll show you, I'll show you every single day, every single day, you'll see me sitting here with GBT doing exactly this process. All right. So it's RBI system for algo trading. This is the process to automate your trading. So most people want to go build a bot immediately. And that's actually where I put the third piece and it's pulled probably only like 10% of the time. Most of the time is in the researching strategies and alpha generation techniques. So some strategies are going to be laid out for you in papers and books and podcasts and videos, but sometimes they're not going to be directly laid out for you, but they'll give you little ideas that you could add on to your strategy that you might already have or another video you saw or a paper you read. You see what I'm saying? You kind of have to put the pieces together, but ideas, it all comes down to ideas. Spend your time coming up with ideas, trading ideas, trading ideas, trading, tra trading, 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 trading ideas. And what happens is um, some ideas you're not able to test, but some you are. So the ones that you're able to test, back test them. I would say the majority of them you're able to back test. But what's cool is if you focus your time on this system, you can do any type of system. It's just the one that I follow it's called the RBI system research, backtest, and implement. And I actually like the double entendre there because you know everybody wants to go for home runs, right? Everybody wants to build a bot, one bot that makes them a billion dollars. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want a, a bunch of RBIs. I want, I want a bunch of runs batted in for the rest of my life. So I'm playing, this is a long game for me. Um, and that's why I asked you at the start, like how long do you plan on being on the computer? Because if you plan on the, being on the computer for the rest of your life and you've got you know, five plus more years. Well, it's going to take you a year to learn how to code. So once you learn how to code, you're going to be able to build anything. You see all these data scanners and screen screeners on my, on my screen. Like I'm able to have a different control of the market than 
people that don't know how to code. So there's just so many reasons to, to do it. And now that we have AI, it can walk you through the process. You just saw it over here. And you're going to see me use AI for the majority of this process right here, the back test process, because back testing involves coding. And I'll just show you that every single day for the rest of my life. Because I believe code is a great equalizer. That's why I do just share everything here. I leak edge. I, I leak edge on accident because I don't even have that. I don't have that new alpha until I get there because I do everything live here. I show everything. So it's pretty, I mean, it's a pretty cool place to be. I like being around you guys. Uh, 777, much love. I come up with ideas on stream. I test them on stream. So if I see something, you see something at literally the same time. There's probably like a 10 second delay. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT for the rest of the day. So, all right, remember you research strategies and alpha generation techniques here. Okay. How do you find those Google scholar? You read books. I have so many books, so many podcasts out there, so many videos. You can come up with unlimited ideas. It just takes time. If you don't put the time in, you're not going to have any ideas, but you can see here last few days, we've been coming up with a bunch of ideas and now I'm just going down the list. So yesterday we built out a pretty cool, uh, back tester to help us back test a bunch of strategies at once. So first off, I don't think there was, a, I kind of scrolled through this yesterday. I didn't think there was anything, anything super impressive. Like this one's 10% versus a 37% buy and hold. Um, this one's 6% versus a 36% buy and hold. This one's 18% versus a 37% buy and hold, but the drawdown's looking pretty good. That's nice. Sharp's looking good. 1.1. Um, this one, I didn't love many of these strategies. It was running for like, mm, I think six hours. This one's not a winner. Anyways, this one's a winner, but buy and hold is better. It just depends on what type of algorithm you're trying to run. Do you want it to be buy and hold? Is that your alternative? Because like this has 34 exposure time. It does not beat buy and hold, but it does well. There was one that was the best. Let's see if I can find it. So I'm going to go ahead and test some new ideas today. And just every day, I'm just going to test new ideas. That's it. I'm just going to come up with new ideas to back test because I just need to show you guys how to do this. I get people hitting me up all the time. Uh, like, yo, can you just send me your best algo? And it's like, no, but I can show you how hard this is and how to find your your own edge because you know ain't nobody gonna give you nothing in this game and i'm gonna give you the most out of anybody so here you can see this one beats the buy and hold 36 percent i actually like this one because it's uh exposure time is 40 percent so beating the buy and hold and only holding for 40 percent it's like having 60 percent of your cash not or your cash not held up 60 percent of the time so it's actually kind of interesting i'm gonna copy this one down so I ran this against a ton of different data just so I could see what, um, what is the best, um, time frame, you know? So I think this was the breakdown. Yep. I'm gonna put the winners here. So this was a Bollinger band breakdown winners out of all data and you can see this was on the 30 minute data or th the five minute data for the last 30 weeks during the market open hey that's not looking as good as i thought it was i was looking at the wrong numbers well that's not a winner and that's okay i mean it's it's a winner but like it's you know half the buy and hold eh we've seen so much better than that. So this is the game though. So don't, um, you know, don't get discouraged when you see strategies that aren't profitable or better than buy and hold because 95% of them aren't going to be better, especially when testing with crypto data, you know, crypto has over the years been up and to the right. So, when you find something better like this one here, slightly better. So ironically, it's the, uh, ironically, it's the same data, 
Well, it's not the same data. It's, it's the opposite. It's the 30 minute data, but on the close. So I'll put that in the winner box. Just want to go over these because, you know, I let these run for six hours last night. It optimized against a ton of data, different time frames different regimes. Yo, am I tripping today? What is going on? Why do I keep doing that? That one's, am I copying the wrong thing? Maybe what is going on? Is my mind going? Am I just not seeing it right? Yeah. I think my, my eyes aren't here yet. So I'm tripping on that one as too as well. <laughs> That's hella funny. Hella funny. I'm just looking at the wrong line. That one did not beat buy and hold. But that's a question you have to ask yourself. You know, if it's close to buy and hold, but it's only hold, it's only in the market for 25% of the time, it might be better. Something you'll have to ask yourself and uh, do some meditating on. And that's why like, I can never give somebody a bot. I don't sell bots. I don't do none of that. I'm sorry. People hit me up every single day trying to buy bots for me. And it's like, nah, sorry, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not trying to take that risk on. If I was that risky of a dude, I would launch a token. I would launch. Yeah, I would launch a bunch of tokens if I was a risky dude like that. But no way. People are like, yo, when's the moon dude dev token coming out? It's like, mm, never. Moon dude. Moon dev. Moondev, give me your best bot. Moondev, give me a million dollars. Moondev, send me two BTC. Moondev, I need you. Don't be an internet beggar. Let's get to work, B, every day, all right? I'm just going to keep hammering this in. Every day, you'll see me. I, I say that I work on the bot 10% of the time, and that's what I'll do. This is the process. Just remember the process. Research, backtest, and then implement. But most of the time is up in the, the R and the B. And really in the B. Because the B be where you code in B. So, you know, coding ain't no joke. But we got AI now, my guy. And that's that's why I'm showing you here today how I'm going to work with it. So, hopefully you saw how you can learn Python. Python is just a coding language. It's in English. So, if you know English, it's much easier than learning Spanish. I'll tell you that much. Let's keep going through this. I think, I think I'm good on this one. I think we went through all of them. Nothing impressive. I mean, there's gotta be a couple of good ones because we did find something impressive here, but return to point five. There's some good sharps in here. I mean, not really good, but you know, one plus sharp is always, you know, something. Let's check out this one over here. This is the other strategy. This was a, um, I think it's just a breakout. So you see the return here. I'm just quickly looking at these returns. 22 verse 36, um, 32 verse 37. It's an easy way. It's not necessary. Like I said, it's not necessarily the, most robust way to look at this because I mean, it just depends. It just depends on how you're, you're trying to slice it up. Like, I don't, I just don't know where your shoes are. Like I like crypto. So worst case scenario, I could just kick it for the rest of my life and buy and hold, you know? Um, so that's why I look at the buy and hold is because like, for example, this one beats buy and hold, but barely. Barely it's 97 trades, 97 times we could risk not be beating buy and hold. Mm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, here we go. Here's one. So you can see this one has a return percentage of 233%. But I'm probably looking at it again wrong. Let's be honest because I've been tripping all day. Okay, the sharp's good. So here, this is a winner here. This is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken din dinner, expectancy 0.86. So, you know, it's a little overfit because we're just like searching through the data, but it's like, let me see your back test fee. <laughs> you know, we got to keep putting the work in and it's not like I'm going to, um, P 
people think you put all your chips into one algo and that's just not how it works i put a like the third step is to implement into a bot and i put like ten dollars size just to like make sure everything matches up and then i'll like increase it slowly 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 you know never become a large part of my portfolio just a small percentage you know what i'm saying i w i would rather have you know, in an ideal world, I'd rather have a thousand working algos than one. Makes sense, right? Because it's a thousand different ways. Now, I don't have a thousand running algos, but I'm I'm just on, only on year four. You know. Obviously, we need some crazy infrastructure to like manage all that, but just just so you can see like how my my brain is thinking about this. I don't know if that's correct. Again, I'm not like the best in the world at this by any means. But um, just the way I'm looking at this is, yeah, I would rather have way more, way more winners that can all generate alpha in a different way. You know, I feel just more heads and more confident because then it's like, okay, a couple of them die. And, you know, realistically, it's a thousand realistic. That's gonna be, that'd be hard to manage, but you just to, just to like show you how I'm thinking. Cut it up. July back test. Oh, somebody just got choppered out on ETH. Somebody just got choppered out on ETH. Ooh, boy. Rest in peace. Another chopper on ETH. Two choppers on ETH. So these are liquidations. These are liquidations here. Another chopper on BTC. Triple chopper. Let's go ahead and look what's going on with these fools. Dang, dude. Rest in peace. Much love, much love. Dang, off this move too? Ooh, these boys are sick. These boys are sick. That means they bought right here because they didn't get... Yeah, so what this tells me is it's a hand trader. It's an emotional trader, number one. Because he did not buy back anywhere here. Oh my God. He, ha he bought in here in the last like hour with mad leverage. And it's probably a similar guy on both ETH and BTC. He probably split it. I don't know. I don't know who it is, but all I know is he's hurting right now. Bad. He's hurting bad. He's hurting bad. And he's a hand trader. You should not hand trade, dude. This is why. We watch the liquidations all day. And the only reason I can watch the liquidations is because me and GPT, me and Chad GPT code together. All right. Okay. I'm going to copy this one over. Wait, but first I want to get this. Let's get this um, template here. I want to call this something else. I love this template we built, dude. Dude, every single day I blow my own mind. So I hope this is, I hope this is helpful for you too, dude. Because I don't know. I just, I just love, I just love this. I just love how we find new things every day. And we build new cool things every day, dude. Like this little loopity loop that goes through all of our data now, all of our test data. Dude, that's so smooth. That's so smooth. Okay, and it found us a winner here. So, okay, 233% return. Yeah, okay, here we go. So I'm just going to copy this over and let's make sure that Moondev's actually not tripping. And it actually shows the 233% return. Does it actually? Okay, let's see it. 233% return. Yeah, buy and hold is 45. So you can see here. The buy and hold is 45%. The return on this strategy is 233%. And I built it all on YouTube, dude. 1.16 sharp. Not the best, but hey, it's above one. Sortino, 3.24. Calmar, 3.66. Drawdown, 0.19. So, like, the double the drawdown to return is a good signal. So, if it's my 19, minus 19 drawdown, then I need at least a... 40% return, but we got to 233% return. So that's solid. Win rates solid 56%. Okay. Profit factor solid. Okay. Cool. 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 So we got a little winner here. Let's see if we got any more in here. This is cool. I love this because it took six hours to run. So maybe I'll just run it all day. I'm just going to start running these all day. dude. You can't stop us if we don't stop. Here's another winner here. 
200% return versus 183% buy and hold. You know, I'm going to pass on it for now just because it's like 98% mm, uh, hold time. It's a mean reverting strategy, so I'm good. It's too close to buy and hold. <laughs> But that's, you know, like, maybe that's good for you. I don't know. Maybe there's a piece of stats in there that you like, like the sharp. It just depends on your strategy. I'm talking your overall strategy. Like, are you looking for, like, low vol, low volatility? Are you looking for steady, consistent gains? Are you, you know, it's just, it just depends on you. So I can only share what I know. I don't know everything. So if you know everything, please do share that with me, dude. All love, all love. So this one, another one, 50% return versus 37. Annualized return, 95%. Sharp ratio, 1.17. Okay. Uh, Sortino, 3.65. So this is actually a better. Uh, not necessarily. Let's see what the annualized return is. Yeah, this one's better than this one. Because you can see this one, annualized return is... Um, Annualized meaning yearly return is 69.9. Nice. And yeah, this one's actually better. So here we go. Another one. Look at that. We just got this chat GPT to build this for us, dude. I couldn't have done this without her. This is why I say this all every day and I'll keep yelling this. I'll keep yelling this from the rafters. Moondev's an idiot. He thinks AI is going to take over traders. Yeah, I do. I really do. It's not going to trade. They're not going to trade. It's not going to trade for you. No, dude. We can use machine learning to make decisions, though. We can use AI to help us code, though. If you don't believe that, it goes. It goes, cousin. <laughs> okay, here's another winner here. 278% return. 183% uh, buy and hold. So optimize for this. Okay. Let's copy it over. This is a good workflow. This is a good workflow, dog. I like it. I like it. 165 trades. Let's see what this one looking like. Uh, dang, another winner. Another one. Another one. Drawdown's a little high for my liking. That's why the sharp is low, I think. 221% one day on the daily. Okay, I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it. Just gonna keep it and move forward because I want to get to these new back tests, dude. This is my, this is my new workflow every single day. I'm, there's, it's gonna be boring. If this is boring to you, then you're not gonna like it here. You're not gonna like it here because this is the work you gotta put in, V. You gotta test and analyze, test, test, analyze, test, test, analyze, research until you have ideas, test, test, analyze, research, 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 back test, research, back test, research, back test, research, back test. It's like you played a sport before, bro. Come on, let's get in the gym. Let's get our shots up every single day. That's it. That's it. Four hours a day of shooting. Just shoot every single day. Here's another good one. This one's 15 minutes. Optimize for this. Um, the annualized return is 81%. So that's pretty solid. Okay. Um, let's keep getting shots up, dude. Let's keep going. So analyze, analyze. This is like we got shots up yesterday and now we're analyzing our game film. Okay. Return here, 6% for 37. So remember, I expect 90% of these to be failures. And if you expect me to be the best in the world, thank you. I appreciate I appreciate it. I appreciate the expectations, honestly. Like, <laughs> I love people. People be hating on me, but really it's just they expect me to be the absolute best in the world because I have a YouTube channel. So that's awesome. I'll, I'll get there. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet, but I'll get there. I'll keep swimming, dog. Thank you. Thank you for your expectations, your high expectations of this random dude named Moondev. That it means so, so much to me. So much love to you, dude. I appreciate you so much. Keep thinking of me as the GOAT. I'm not the GOAT. I'm not the GOAT, but I'll keep going until I fulfill your expectations, dude. So thank you. I appreciate it. The heat, the heat, the anger of people that come at me is because they, they expect me to be the GOAT. I'm not the GOAT. I'm not the goat yet, but I'll keep going. 777, seven, seven, much love. I love the pressure. Let's get it. Okay, so this one's 117 here. 
and you can see the annualized returns 40 so you know i've seen so many like this is way better than the buy and hold um the daily i mean i better put it down before i get too confident here let's just put it down um i'll go over these later in the inner circle because like i know this is a lot I, i'll put one more in here i think that's enough you know i don't want to like get too invested in this I want to, I want to launch some more strategies. I'm just building out a folder here of just like tons of strats. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm just going to build out a folder of tons of strats and we're just going to have all of them. We're just going to have absolutely every single one of them. And it's going to be me and you versus them. Cause they're not like us be their scarcity mindset. They're not, there's no unity over there. Everybody's going to everybody's neck in New York. That's okay. That's okay. We'll do it virtually from Discord, dude. Let's see it. I mean, it's a fun thesis, right? It's a fun thesis. Can we take on, can we take on the hedge funds and the prop firms from Discord? I think we can, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see who wants smoke today. Um, let's see who wants to smoke. Anybody? Anybody in the chat? Anybody in the chat wants some smoke today? What's up? What's up? Chat, chat, chat. Checking in, checking in. Chat seven 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 seven. Yo, good morning, Derek. What up? Hey, hey, Warren. What's up, David? Bob Smith. I see you out there. Seven seven seven. How do you keep track of your back test so you don't do something or you're done? How you keep com how you keep track of your comments so you don't ask something you've ever already asked? <laughs> how you keep track of your your comments so you don't ask something you already asked? Because that looks like something you need to work on, boy. Seven seven seven. Well, oh, same with you, Crypto Burger. What makes you take Shot GPT over Claude? Nothing. I don't know. I just I just use it. I just use it. Is it better? Is is Claude better? I mean, if it's really that much better. By the way, I just keep track of all my back tests um, on here <laughs> it's in my folders and my memory, but I should probably write it down better. I don't know. in like an Excel sheet or something. It's a good question. Got me thinking. 777 Hitch, 777 Blackfish. Good to see you. Hi, hi Manish. How are you, bro? Crypto Burger. What up, dude? How do I buy? There's a link. Uh, there's a link in the, the thing somewhere. Um, I'm new to your content, Hitch says, but have always watched a lot in the past few days. I appreciate you. The software he's promoting, I have no software, dude. Uh, <laughs> wait, is this yesterday's chat? Yeah, this is yesterday's chat. It's got to be yesterday's chat. Oh my God. I'm like, well, I'm tripping. This is yesterday's chat. That's why. I'm like, yo, why is everybody asking the same stuff and saying the same stuff? Dude. What is wrong with this world today? Moon's world, not your world. How was I looking at the wrong? How is there an old chat? That's my question. I'm literally looking at the old chat. What up? Random question. How old are you? I'm 30. Foe. I'm 30. Just probably. Yo, you started the same time as I did, dude. Good to have you. Um, hi, I don't know nothing about programming. Only did cloud AWS and AI was collab. Nice. If you did AWS, bro, you already did something harder than this. AWS is dirty, 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 ugly, ugly, ugly. Good morning, Ryan. I was really just reading the old chat, yesterday's chat, and I was like, how is everybody asking the same questions as yesterday? Bob Smith, what up? 777, Sasquatch, what's up? 777, Tesla, what's up? Tesla, I'm not I'm not smarter than you, that's for sure. Uh, good morning, Ryan. I'm just an average dude, and I hope you guys can see that. I'm dyslexic, I can't read. This is, This stuff is... My math ain't my math ain't strong. This stuff is hard, but it's don't let those big boys out there in the suits try to tell you that you can't do it. That's it. That's why I'm up here, bro. Seven 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 Kasim, what's up, bro? Yo, Anna my light Lee's from Twitch says, How can I learn what you do if I don't know web programming or VS code ever? Always been on collab for Python. Dog, that's all you need. If you know Python, you're Gucci. You don't need web dev. F web dev. You don't need no web dev, bro. Okay, let's see how you can actually use this chat GPT. I showed you how to code in Python. All your questions can be answered here. So if you have questions about Python, like 
you can go through basic usage. You're going to need pandas. So how do I use pandas? Well, well, hell. Well, hell. <clears throat> how do I use pandas? Panda, panda, panda. Panda, panda, panda. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Um. What should we do here? I think we go to a new back test. Yes. Okay. So let's get our back test up here and brainstorms maybe. Put these up here. Let's figure out which one we want to do here, dude. Brainstorms. Stochastic RSI, money flow indicator, market cipher vids. Okay, these are like books. These are ideas from y'all. Pairs trading, we have that. Liquidation hunting, Bollinger Band, slow turtle, seasonality. Yo, I want to do one here. This is kind of based off seasonality, but time and alley. Time analogy. Does that make sense? If seasonality is seasonality, do you understand what time analogy is? Is this live? Nah, it's recorded. It's recorded. It's recorded. Time analogy is. Please make an or like <laughs> I'm gonna write that an algorithm. Let's look at the data we have and then cut it up to have only segments around the open and close of the New York, which is 9.30 a.m. open and EDC open and 4 p.m. close. Our data is currently on UTC data, so you will have to cut it up. Um, I want to keep how many, how many minutes? One hour after open. So nine thirty to ten thirty. And I want to keep one hour before close. So three to four. So first we will need to build a script that lets us wait. We already have this script, my guy. I love this game. That's why I do this, dude. That's why I do this. We already got to cut it up. To cut it up, we just got to change it up. We just got to change it up. We got to cut it up, then change it up. That's all we got to do, dude. Well, I don't think so, actually. Here, we got to say this. Let's go ahead and... Okay, I like this. I like this algorithm we're building. So let me go ahead and make sure to be able to fully explain this. Essentially, I, I just want to trade the open and the close. So the first hour after the open and the first hour before the close. Build a script that lets us cut up the data we input to become um, just that data. Um, below is a script you can emulate. 
Okay. Below is a script you can emulate. Oh, look at these orders flying, boy. From my slumber. To cut up the data. Strategy. It's a strategy, though, is the question. Yo, what up, more? Bye. When the price dips, who dares rouse um, me from my slumber? Yeah, I gotta figure out the strategy. I can't just cut up the data. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. I want to get this set up first, though. So let's go ahead and paste this in and then we have this cut it up um, file here. So let's call this cut to ugly name but whatever and then this would be cut cut to just um first last hour dot py okay and then here Okay, and that's right, right? Yeah, looking good to me, B. Because this is the market open. We can keep it clean, keep it the same. Keep it all the same. So we got cut to last hour. I like it, dog. Because now we're going to have different data, dude. More data, more, more money. More data, more money. More data, more money. That's it. That's it, dog. Glad you're here. What is Gucci though? Throw the 777 in the chat if you're actually here, dude. Y'all is tripping. I don't see no sevens today. Where we at with it? You can see yourself, right? You can see your comments are not coming through. I don't see any 777s. Where is the love? Where is the love? Cold, cold world. Drewski, what up, bro? What up, dude? Seven, Kasim, smart guy. Bob Smith, what up, bro? Okay, let's go ahead and get this data in here then, dude. Let's do our test data, yeah. And what do we gonna call this? NYC, uh, open, close. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Yo, what is 777? It's passing love back and forth, bro. You got anything in this world if you leave with love. And if you don't, then you're going to attract bad things in your life. So, <laughs> don't leave with hate. That's it. You don't have to put 777 in there, but I do appreciate it. Peace. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby, boy. Oh, the, the daily don't work, dude. Duh. We already knew that. Delete it. Get it out of here. The daily doesn't work because this is based off of... You know what I'm saying. A minute will work. The five minute will work. All that will work. 15 minute will work. Let's just do the 30 here. Just want to make sure it works. So New York open and close, so you can see it's only 
Yeah, there we go. Wait, 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 though. You can see this one here has 13 to 430. But where's the other? Where's the other data, you know? You can see above the open seemed seemed to show perfectly. But the close prices, the close times are not there. But maybe I put in the wrong data. No, I saw it there, cousin. I see him. Peace to you, bro. So peace and much love on all you of you, bros. Yeah, dude. Love to everybody. Love to everybody. Love to everybody. Todo, toda la gente, toda la gente. Thirty weeks data. <clears throat> dun 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 What's going on with this is the question. Cut to the first and the last hour. Let's see it, dude. Let's see it for real, for real. Delete it. Delete it. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. I don't want it no more. So I'm just trying to cut this data up. And you can see I'm just using ChatGPT because ChatGPT is coming for all traders next. Including mine, dude. I see the writing on the wall. I don't just say it. I live it. There it is. There she goes. So what happened? I see that the closing times are not present in the sample data. To handle this, we need to ensure that we correctly filter the available data within the specified time windows, even if some time slots are missing. There we go. That's what I like to see, baby. That's what I like to see. Dun, 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 dun. Binance, Coinbase, how do you get the data? All those places. Okay, so I actually don't like that there. <laughs> no offense. It's just, uh, I need to stay focused. So I, I'm, out, I'm out on the chat. I'm out on the chat. But, um, now let's get the 30 minute data in there. So what's great about this is now every strategy that I run will have all of this. Yes, dude. Yes. F yeah, Moon Dev. Come on. Come on, bro. This is sick. You don't understand it. Because I show you know how I showed you at the start of the video? All those back tests. It's because we built something yesterday that back tests all of this data here. All of this data. We got regular data. We got daily data. We got hourly data. We got market open data. We got market closed data. Now we got first hour and last hour data, dude. I might go fuck around and get some lunchtime data to eat you motherfuckers. 777. I might put you on a fucking sandwich and just eat you. 777. I'm for sure taking your lunch. So I'm for sure taking your lunch. I'm sorry. I got to do it to him. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's just what I'm here for. I'm sorry, dude. I'm going to show you everything along the way. So I'm glad you're here, dude. 
Just don't get it twisted. Just don't get it twisted. No, I'm vicious, B. But that's good, right? If I attack this vicious, viciously on the internet live the entire time, you get to see everything I see. You see something, I see something, you see something. That's it. That's pretty cool if you ask me. You're going to see everything that I know. Every big thing that I come across. Like, this is, this is huge. This is huge. I hope you know that. I hope you know that. This is huge. Five minutes. Look at the one minute I've been there. Copy path. Copy that path, B. Copy that path. Copy that path. Okay. We got it. Run it. Okay. Now we got the one minute here, too. Adam Mooney. That's a good That's a good start already. You see how I'm using ChatGPT to do things I didn't know how to do, do? I can't do this stuff alone. No way. No way. No way. No way. There ain't no way. Okay, one hour. Should we get that one hour? Uh, I don't know if it makes sense on that. No, 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 no. All right, I like this a lot, dude. Okay, so now every single back test that I run ever is going to be testing on the 30 minute data, the 30 minute NYC hours data. Wait, why is it called that? Whatever. I hate that name. I hate that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like that name at all. I can't do that name. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. Sorry, dude. I gotta restart it. Not restart it. But yeah, I gotta kind of restart it. Okay. Just get this one out of here. The name just NYC hours is that means open. The NYC open to me, but it's all good. We got time, B. Let's keep going. So cut it up to non-market hours. Cut it up to first last hour. Cut it up, dude. Cut it up. Cut it up and then run it up. That's it. Okay. So first, last hour. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Life is perfect. Life is perfect, dude. Let's get this NYC hours out of here. I don't know why. It's whatever you call that, B. Turn that off. We don't never want a bad name like that. GPT. That's where GPT gets you. She'll bite you in the butt with some weird names. She'll bite you in the butt real quick with some weird names. We don't want that no more. No way. We want the good, good. We want that good, good. NYC, get him out of here. Delete it. Bye, Felicia. So nice to have you. I hope to see you again. <laughs> never mind. I never want to see you again. I'm here. Every single day, dude. So happy that you're here. Much love. Five minutes. And then one more. Get this NYC hour out of here. Let's run it up every single day, every single minute, every single second, dude. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. I got big goals, bro. I'm not the best in the world, but thank you. But thank you to the trolls that expect me to be the best in the world and know everything. I appreciate you holding me to a higher standard. I really do. I really do. That means a lot to me. It really does. And it's going to push me to tell, tell, I, tell I get to where I want to go. And then I'm going to keep going. Because I've already done that, bro. And I'll keep going. <laughs> I love this game so, so much. Okay, now every single back test that we run from here on out is going to test on that theory. So while I went ahead here and look at this. See, this is how it goes. See how there's no strategy here? Because there is no strategy to this. But we have a ton of strategies. The strategy that we just built out was to cut up the data for the first hour and first 
first hour, first hour and last hour. Now every single back test I ever do for the rest of my life is going to be checking the timeality. Timeality. Dude. Seasonality next, mofo. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Q1, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. All right. We're doing that next. How should we do that, though? Nah. Nah, I'm good on that. I'm good on that because I'll tell you why. Crypto doesn't have enough data. Like, I don't have enough data on this stuff. If I had like 30 years of data, I'd be more interested in that, but I'm not. I don't. <laughs> I don't, and I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. Solid thought, though. Solid thought, though. It's a little quiet out there. I would like to see some more liquidations. I'd like to hear some more sounds. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I'm going to take a quick uh, whiz real quick, and then um, I'll be back for the next part where we will now have a new strategy. Maybe we'll get two strategies. Yeah, let's get two or three strategies done. Bunch of ideas here. Go ahead, look. It's chilly up in here, boy. It's because it's cold. Well, wow. that's it. It's chilly in here because it's cold. It's cold out there. Let's get it. Let's run it up. Let's just keep running it up every single day. Why not? What you scared of? Looks like we got some licks coming through. Little lickety lick action. Mm, coffee hot, boy. So let's scroll through some of these and figure out which one we want to do next. 
Intraday Bollinger Bands, four days down, buy and hold, trend reversal, multiple trends, carry, LSTMs to read order book data. Oh boy, I'm excited for that one. Genetic algos plus Arima, cross selection, momentum, and carry, advanced directional strategies. Nice. <laughs> Why you got it twice, doggy? Delete it. Advanced directional strategies. Okay, breakout trading, multi time frame. I feel like we did breakouts yesterday. Volatility using ATR. False breakout reversal. Value trading strategies, fundamental metrics, and price divergence. Mean reversion to intrinsic value. Determine intrinsic value. Discount and premium versus nav. Acceleration trading strategies. Oh, we got some bullets coming through, dude. We got some bullets coming through. Watch out. I want to find one that just really gets me going. You know where I would find the best strats, though? The ones that really get me excited? It's going to be from my personal notes. So maybe I'll do that a little bit after this. Um, RSI acceleration. Interesting. Never heard of that. Skew strategies. Okay, there's some heat here. There's some heat here. Dynamic optimization. But you know that, like, you have the most passion with your ideas, right? So, it's one thing to think about. Let's see if I can get a couple of ideas from my, um, my notes here. Yo, this is actually a, a cool little strat. I want to test um, just because everybody talks about this and the sell in May and go away. Uh, sell in May and go away. You've heard that so many times. This is actually true with BTC. Is this actually true with BTC? Someday I'll test it. I don't know if I'll do it today. Linear algebra. Okay.
Mm. Now, open interest data is interesting. So, utilize the open interest data. Utilize the open interest data I've been collecting. For sure, for sure. Oh my God, that's a good idea too. I'm looking at my notes here. Okay, so Nick, you might be up in the audience right now. Nick Couts, what up, bro? Nick Couts said this. Uh, quad moving average. He said this, so you be doing stuff. I read all comments, dude. It is not good for my mental health. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I read all your other comments, and it's not good for my mental health. I'll tell you that much. But every once in a while, I get your best strategy, you know. So, shout out to him. That's an interesting one. Big shots. Reversal loss of power shot. Oh, I like that one too, dude. Oh, I like these licks, bro. I really like following the licks. Liquidation. First one. First one. Slang into the second. It's just like, you see with one liquidation happening here, these are liquidations. It usually moves to the second one. So there's alpha in that first trade, in my opinion. It's like, okay, you see one lick come through. Well, there's probably another lick gonna come through, dude. I mean, probabilities are higher. It's not always gonna happen, no way. I need to use the VIX. VIX strategies. Uh, it's a very clean way. Get good VIX data. Get good VIX data. It's a very clean way to to um, to what monitor monitor. Vol, volatility, and there is alpha to be had. Chop it out. Chop her out. Chop her out to go pick up a body from this Ethereum gambler. See what's Gucci. Who got choppered out? Was that you, fool? Come on, bro. See, that's why I was saying, like, okay, there was alpha in this play right here. Watch the first ETH one. Or maybe you can, a collective of them. Who dares rouse me from my and then trade to the second one. There's a $10,000 one here. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely needs to be back tested, but just ideas, ideas. It all comes down to ideas, dude. Somebody else about to get choppered out here, too. I think they're calling another chopper in here. Calling another chopper in for sure. All right, let's go ahead and keep these ideas coming through.
Hmm, that could be cut. This is this game is unlimited, bro. Tell me more about the, tell me more about Jim Simon's hidden Markov model and how they work and how I can emulate them in Python. Okay, I think I got that somewhere here, Markov. Markov chain. Markov models that Jim used a lot. Okay, let's read through this. So Jim Simons, the founder of Renaissance Technology and the Medallion Fund is widely known for his use of advanced mathematical models and algorithms to drive his trading strategies. One of the models that was that ha that have been associated with his work is the hidden Markov model. HMMs are statistical models that can be used to describe systems that are assumed to be a Markov process with hidden states. They are particularly useful in time series analysis where the underlying process is not directly observable, but can be inferred, inferred through observable data. Dates the system is assumed to be in one of the finite finite number of states at any given time observations each state produces an observation with a certain probability transition probabilities the probabilities of moving from one state to another emission probabilities the probabilities of observing a certain observation from a given state Steps to implement the hidden Markov model for trading. Define the states. For example, you might define states as bull market, bear market, and sideways market. Collect observations. Use observable data such as price movements, volume, volatility, etc. Estimate the model parameters, transition probabilities, emission probabilities, and initial state probabilities. Train the HMM. Use algorithms such as the BOM, the BOM, Welch algorithm to estimate the parameters. Use the trained HMM. Apply the model to make predictions or identify the most likely sequence of states given new observations. Implementing HMM in Python. We can use HMM learned library in Python to implement an HMM. Here's a basic example to get you started. Gaussian HMM model that fit returns hidden states model that predict returns 
So data preparation, we start with simple data frame collecting containing daily returns of stock. The HMM Learn library expects the data to be in a specific shape. So we reshape it, define the HMM. We define that Gaussian HMM with three hidden states. We fit the model. We fit the model to our data and using the fit method. We predict hidden states. We predict the hidden states of our observed data. We print the model params. We print the transition matrix and means and variances of each hidden state. We use them all to predict the hidden states for future returns. Use cases in trading, regime detection, identify market regimes, bear bull sideways and adjust trading strategies accordingly. Anomaly detection, detect unusual market conditions that may si signal sin significant changes. Predictive modeling, use the HMM to predict future market movements based on historical data. Hidden Markov models are powerful tools for time series analysis especially when dealing with financial data from the underlying states are not directly observable by implementing an HMM, you can gain insights into your, into market regimes, improve to improve your trading strategies. This is interesting dude. <laughs> that gym used a lot. We're on a first name basis. Hey, bro. Notion's low key goat. Notion is low key goaded. I'm just saying, bro. What? Copy this URL into OBS Studio and your favorite browsing software. How to embed chat with Restream and OBS. Navigate to the stream, select Restream, connect account. On your OBS dashboard, go to the bottom right and click settings, navigate to stream, settings, navigate to stream, okay. And in the pull down menu, select restream and click connect, okay. Click okay. Overlay. Sorry, this is what I'm looking for. Adding a chat overlay. To add chat overlay or restream, you'll have to add the chat as a browser source on OBS. Keep in mind that you do not have to connect your restream account to OBS to embed a chat overlay. All you need is the embed link to add as your browser source. Okay. First copy the embed link. Okay, copied. 
Next, go to your OBS under sources, click the plus sign and select browser. Okay. Browser. When you create a new source, give it a name you'll remember, such as chat, all chat. Okay. A window will pop up after you add the browser. Click OK. And give it a name. All right. You have to enter the URL in this window to add your browser. Okay, I see that. URL. Okay. The URL, the URL you'll need is the embed in stream from, from the uh, thing. To find it, log into your restream. On your restream dashboard, navigate to the menu on the left side. Okay. You'll see several options like chat app. Wait. The URL you'll need is an embed in your stream. Okay. URL from restream chat. To find it, log into your Restream account on your Restream dashboard, navigate to the menu on the left hand side and click on the three dots for more. You'll see several options, chat app. Mm. Back in OBS, add the URL you copied from the Restream chat, then adjust the width and height so your chat widget appears the size you want in your stream. Now you can change the appearance of your overlay, such as making the background transparent. Okay, this doesn't seem too hard. Oh. That doesn't look too good, does it? <laughs> that don't look too good. Property. Can somebody say something in the chat? See if it pops up on the screen though. Yo, say some say something in the chat, bro. Somebody. Maybe it don't work. Oh, I changed it up here, you dweeb. Yo, can somebody say something in the chat? Maybe you guys are, and it's just not working. Maybe you're not. Maybe 
All right. Whatever. Whatever it be. Oh, dope. You can see it. It's ugly looking, but I'm working on I'm working on it. Yo, thank you for testing it, guys. I appreciate that. Cause I, it's hard to like go back and forth looking at the chat, but you know if I can. have it here that'd be easier you feel me I didn't find any that I love, honestly. I want something compact. Just go through it one more time. Compact here. Well, it's not bad, but why is it uh, that color? Yo, what up? What up? What up? Thank you guys for testing this for me. Appreciate you much. Appreciate you, Mujo. Lickety. All right, let's just launch this B. How do you launch it though? Let's 
Look at this distraction. It's so funny how easy this is to get distracted. But it's okay. Got a really good week. So browser here. Mm, I see what I have to do. Got it, I got it now. So I'm going to delete that. Remove, get him out of here. Remove, get him out of here. Alright, I think I got this. So y'all Fulanos are going to be on my screen now, so keep it PG, alright? Take you off so quick. Keep it PG, alright, B? Keep it PG. We got women and children here. Alright, I'm gonna put you on the screen, but don't don't lose your don't lose your privileges now, Sunny Buns. Alright? I'll put y'all up on the screen. You can be here. Just don't be, don't be, don't be whack. Don't be whack, number one. That's that's number one and only, really. Yo, so I have this custom CSS. I'm using OBS here. I'm using OBS to layer on a chat. There is this custom CSS part. What can I do with it? Can I add text colors? Or what other cool things can I do? Tell me all the cool things. You can change the text colors, font sizes. I want, please, please update it so it gives, gives random colors to the messages, either red, purple, blue, white, yellow, or green, transparent background, parent, Background. And 20 font size. Let's see. I don't know, dude. This is awesome. You can have like custom code up in here. Dude, I love this game, dude. Because I know how to code now, cousin. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna go with default, honestly. Let's copy this one over. Let's get this one out of here. This fault is the chillest. Get him out of here. Get him all the way out of here, dude. I don't want it no more. Delete, remove, 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 remove. Moon Dev's getting distracted again. Oopsies. I'm doing it so I don't have to go back and forth. I feel like this is going to save time. Because then I can just see all the chats and and answer all questions as I have time. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this does. Can I just copy all this? Be pretty slick rig. That would be pretty slick rig winning it. Okay. 
How do I move it though? Um, I don't know how to move it. I like the moving, moving. Hey, somebody say something in the chat. See if it works up there. How, how do I move this stuff? Though? Yes, there we go. Thank you. Fuck do I move this shit? Having a hard time moving it. Okay, this is great. I'm just having a hard time moving it on my screen. OBS. This is dope. This is dope. Certainly, if you want to ensure that your overlay is positioned correctly in OBS, you might want to make some adjustments. Huh, really, through here? That don't make sense. That don't make sense to me, but I love that we're coding everywhere and everything. Everywhere and everything. Get off me, fool. Yo, what's good, bro? I like the movie, movie. See if I could just put this over a little bit. 
It would be perfect. How do I drag it? It used to be, how do I drag this, the source over in uh, OBS? Cause usually it's just like a simple little drag here. I could work with this dude. Scale, maybe I need to make this bigger. No, that's too big. Let's copy this. Let's get it out of here. Let's add it back in browser chat. There we go. Here, maybe if I mark this out. in the middle of my screen now. Yo, I effed everything up, bro. Get it out of here then. Let's get it all the way out of here. Damn, bro. I lost the stream. Get my screen back. Okay, let's read through this. In the sources box, click on the browser source that you want to chat overlay. Okay. Okay, edit mode. Okay, it's in edit mode. Click and hold the left mouse button. That's why. It's because I'm not using my mouse right now. So let me just get up on my mouse. It'd be funny if this is all fixed by that. It's not, dude. I ruined the stream today. I uh, lost my. Can't even see. The... Can't even see the stream anymore. It's funny. So I think I'll just. Uh... Resize the screen. Drag. 
If not, click the source. Okay, click and hold the left mouse button. Click and hold, okay. Maybe that's why. No. Something's tripping. All right, resize. You can hold shift while dragging the handle. Okay, adjust for precise lock. Okay, let me just try to restart the stream. I'll be back later. All right, so I'm gonna just jump in here and back test this. I'm using GPT here. So this is why I really think that ChatGPT will take over all traders because at the end of the day, I can take ideas like this and I can just be like, okay, homeboy literally left an idea here, a trading idea and I'm interested in about it in it because he says the best that he's found. I don't know what level he's at, but if it's the best that he's found, then Hey, you know, it's gotta be worth something, right? I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. We shall, we shall see. Let's see if we can get it over there though. Let's go ahead here and say copy. Okay. Copied it. Copy buddy. And then let's go ahead and paste it in here. Okay, and then say, <clears throat> please use, please use backtesting.py in order to build out the strategy, strategy, strategy that is in the in the um, image. Uh, you can see, you can see in the below code, backtesting code template, backtesting code template, how I like to set up my backtests. They optimize on multiple sets of data in the uh, folder. Don't change that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's give it to the July template. So we got this template now, dude, this template's so dirty. This is such a dirty template. Let's go ahead and say here, okay, boom. And what do we want to call this strategy? Well, hell, what is it called? B, I don't know. Yo, what's good, OG? How are you, dude? Glad you're here. Glad you're here, dude. Oh, that looks nice up there, that's perfect. You can be right on my screen. Just keep it clean, B. Keep it clean. <laughs> keep it clean and we're Gucci. You can be on the screen, dude. You're on the screen now. You made the screen, dude. You made the screen. Okay, let's go ahead here and say, uh, what do we want to call this? We said it was a, looks like it's a quad moving average crossover. Interesting, interesting. Simple moving average, but it's a quad, okay. Let's just make a folder here, say quad moving average, quad MA. And then we'll say uh, quad dot PY quant. That works too, whatever. I don't care what the name is, dude. This is how we use chat GPT, or at least I do. Every single day I use GPT in order to do this process here research back tests or implement usually back testing because AI so far is the best at coding. So, I mean, like, I don't know. That's my opinion, at least. What's my here for a long time and I'll still be here for a long time. So much love to you. I'm glad you're here. I'm super happy that you're here. Tap in on the chat. If you are live with the seven, seven, sevens, the 777 is passing your peace and your love back to me because we all need more love. And if you leave with love, dude, you can have anything in this world. And you know that, you know that deep down, you know that deep down. Come on, B. I'm just sipping coffee, minding my business. And coding out this back test. What up, Trent? How are you, dude? Good to see you. Good to see you. Buenos dias. 
Buenos dias. Okay, we got another little lick. Breathe in, breathe out. So we're trying this uh this quad over here. Okay, let's go ahead and see how it do do. Does it go ahead and loop through both of them? Data and data files? Yes. Okay, let's go look at the strategy. So it's a quad SMA. That's funny, B. That's funny. What? Like, what? That is so funny, B. But hey, I couldn't think of that myself. That's why we do this, dude, because I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything, let alone everything. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and see how this works here. Probably going to need to fix it. You know, there's always a problem. Wow, dude. Wow. We're getting hot. We're getting hot with this one, cousin. This one is getting hot. We are getting hot with this, B, because we don't even need to. We don't need. We're not even. Did you see that, dude? Come on. Come on. I know you saw what just happened there. That was zero tests or zero loops. Zero loops with GPT, meaning. Our GPT getting smarter. Our GPT is getting a little bit smarter. Let's go ahead and say Python. Quand. Okay, it's no trades. Okay, maybe it's not that smart yet. Uh, oh, here's the trade though. Okay, so this is Gucci. This is fine. It just needs to get down to the minute data because homeboy said that. Homeboy said that that was his best. 0.47 sharp. Scratch his neck, Moondev. Let me borrow a trading bot scratch. You know I'm good for it. For real though. <laughs> I got these cheeseburgers, man. I got the cheeseburger. I got these cheeseburgers, man. I've got these cheeseburgers. All right, let's go ahead and check these out. See if there's any winners in here. Loser. Loser. He was talking about the one minute though, so you know we'll see. That's what homeboy said at least. Loser. And I'm expecting mostly losers always, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, doggy dude. Loser. Huh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Give me it back. Give me it back. Give me it back. So here we go. This is how we do it. Let's move it over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, nothing here on the 15s. I give 9%. Return percentage, 19.5. Nothing too impressive thus far. Nothing too impressive thus far on a quad, on a quad, on the quad. That makes sense though. That makes sense. Okay, I'll let I'll let it I'll let it optimize over here while I'm working on some other things. Let's go ahead and read what Trent said a lot. Trent said a lot. So Congratulations, or I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> he says, does anyone know what the name for this shady pra practice of filing an order book full of ass that are 0 0.01, causing the bid ass price to be misleading for market orders? I'm trying to deal with that right now. Hmm. You're going down a conspiracy theory, conspiracy route again, Trent. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. I just don't. That's over my head. Whatever you're talking about over there. 
But uh, hopefully somebody knows. Let's go ahead here and let's move on to another strategy because that's what I'm just going to do for the rest of the time here. It's going to ride out this back to us. So every single video will say something about ChatGPT taking traders jobs because this is this is that. Let me go ahead and say done on a couple of these. Utilize open interest, cross selection, sell it man, go away. Like I kind of want to just try that real quick because that would be super easy. So let's do that. So again, what am I going to do, dude? I'm just going to go over to chat GPT because then I don't have to think it through. I can use my brain later when I need it. I don't need my brain right now, dude. That's it. That's it. Okay, so. Where's the data? Where is the data? Test data right here. So the data for a thousand weeks is what we need. Copy path. Um, copy path. Let's go ahead here and say a new one. So above is my data path. And I want to backtest using backtesting.py the theory of sell in May and go away. So essentially, I want to buy October 1st and sell May or what's the month before May? January, February, March, April, April 31st, if that's the thing. Is April 31st a thing? I'll look at my hand, uh, January, February, March, April, it's not. Joke's on you, April Fool's, boo. So sell on April 30th. Actually, you just sell on May 1st sell may 1st i just want to test this out because like a lot of people be saying this and it's just like cute story bro but let's see if it's actually true you know just a little funny funny bunny here's the sample data here is the sample data um let's give it a back test Here's a way to back test uh, Bollinger Bands. Let's see here. Breakdown, double. Okay, we'll just use this one because it's before the weird optimization thing we did. Not the weird, but the awesome. I mean, the awesome optimization thing you did. Here is an example of a working back test you can emulate. Okay. Okay, what else do we need here, dude? Well, I want to go ahead and say... Um, optimize for selling May 1 through 15 and buying October 1 through 15. This is cool, man. I love this game so much, dude. You just sit here with the AI. The game is sit here with AI and try everything. <laughs> try everything. And find stuff that works some days and some days just fail and then just go on to the next day and then do that again. You know, every single day do. Okay. So I'm just going to let it run and then we're going to go say sell in May and go away. Sell in May and go away. Tell them they go away. Okay. Dot PY. Okay. Perfect. 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 Let me answer a couple of these questions. 
Hi, could you do a hyperliquid spot tutorial? That's a good question. Yeah, I'll put it on the list someday. I'll do that someday for sure. Not gonna be a tutorial, but <laughs> hyper liquid spot stream. It's not gonna be a tutorial, but I'll figure it all out on stream. Uh, what's the best code base to tell an LLM to use a DeFi repo or smart contracts? Um, I don't know. Open AI. Sounds like people are on Claude's dick lately. Whatever. So whatever, whichever one. They're all commodities in my book. Whatever's the cheapest, fastest, best, best. Cheapest, fastest, whatever you need at the time, you know? I've connected my spot accounts, but struggling building trades. Nice, dude. Yeah, it's going to be a struggle bus for a while. But keep coming back. It'll make sense eventually. So by day, month. Okay, yeah, that's nice. And then if, okay, sell day is 1 through 15. And then here in the optimization. Yo, see, this would take time for me to think about. I'm sure I could come to the same conclusion, but dude, you can't compete if you're not using AI. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not going to work right away, so I don't want to hype it up too much. So if date, okay, so uh, I like, yeah, duh, this makes sense. So it's saying date dot month. Yeah. And then date dot day. If date dot day is a sell day, then we buy position close. It's long only dude. Sell in May and go the frick away. Let's ramp this up though, because all right, let's run it, son. See the default stats 75% win rate. It's not better though. All right, so next time somebody says sell a man, go away, tell them to say, tell them to shut their whole ass up, and it's not better. All right, you guys hear, heard it here first. You saw it here first. Sell in May and go away is cap. Here's the optimized version of this. Yo, the optimized version is not cap though. <laughs> the optimized version is dirty. It's 50,000% return. There might be some truth to this. You buy on the second and you sell on the seventh. What do you think of that, dude? Think that's going to work? I mean, that's double buy and hold. That's double buy and hold, but it's extremely overfitted. Time is just, there's just like not much time for it. Expectancy is nuts, of course, but I don't know, bro. Sell and man go away. It's, it's here now. We have the answer, Sway. That, did you see how easy that was to figure that out, though? Crazy, right? Is that 50K return on the daily and using close of day candle price? Bro, you got to pay attention, dog. You got to pay attention, Trent. <laughs> yeah, it's daily data, bro, bro. Daily data. But it's not, it's just not enough trades. It's only five. I mean, it's 10 years of data, but 3,000 since 2015.
Yo, my pleasure, dog. Okay, so selling main go away at, on May 1st, it doesn't work. If you sell on May 1st and go away, it doesn't work. This one does work though, but like, You know, I don't know. Is that something when you want to bet on? Maybe. But again, dude, Trent can read, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness yeah i want to trade this i mean i don't know like the, out of 10 years selling may and go away it just depends on what day you you buy or sell on i guess why don't we open this up yeah let's open this up let's just let's see if we can get it better because this is this is like in my opinion the sketchness of back testing it's like okay well back test you can kind of you can kind of figure out anything here you can kind of like make any results so that's why i don't put yeah i use back testing as an indicator opposed to like yeah i'm not gonna because i've seen so many amazing back tests that just don't perform so I just don't get too hyped you know here's the new selling man go away So it's still converged on the same one, I believe. Yep. Two and seven. So that's the best day. There you go. Selling main go away. That's it. Trent says, when was the last trade date? If it was 2017 or something, it kind of won't help. Why did it trade nine times? It's a good question. That's a good question. See what the data is looking like. Maybe the data is off. One thousand weeks. Oh, because this is during market close. Good catch. Good catch, B. No, that's no market close. What is that data? How that can't even be a thing. It can't even be a thing, B. Good call though. Sell in May. Uh, data, test data. Ah, oh, these are gonna be, maybe it's this one here. Let's try that out. Copy path, copy path, but there isn't a market close is a weird thing. So this, I don't even know why I have that data, but we'll see how this changes things. Cause I think you're right. It should trade nine times. Sell in May and go away nine trades. It's half. half seven 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 is the win rate though so light that be up dude i'm telling you dude seven 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 you're gonna see that number everywhere seven 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 returns not better optimized now so sell in May and go away again. It's a seven, 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 two and seven. 
it's not better. Don't sell in man. Go away. Even, even if you hit the perfect day like this. Even if you hit the perfect day, if you sell in May and you go away, you die. I mean, you're still fine. 152,000, 100, yeah, 15,000%. But I'd be curious on like a, uh, a different token. Por ejemplo. Like, uh. I'd be curious on like ETH. We got a lot of data for ETH. And ETH is like a a good indicator of altcoins. So why don't I just do that real quick? Why not, dude? That's what we do here. We do the things that we want to do, dude, because this is my world. I'm so happy that you're here, dude. I really am. I really am. Let's say ETH. I'm getting ETH data now. How many weeks we want? How many weeks we want? 1,000 weeks. I want all of it. Here it is. Here's the data source here. And I'm just going to get uh, jiggy with it. Let's get jiggy with it. Hit save. Boom. Run it. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Time, time, time. But that's all good. Seven, seven, seven. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe that was gap data where it didn't have the weekends. That's right. So one of those, whatever it's, it traded five times. So it was supposed to be nine because it was 10 years. Hey, selling May and going away does not work for Ethereum or BTC, even super optimized. So like that's saying like, okay, you know, a strategy works and, but I still have to hit the Jackpot on it, and it's still not possible. It's still not possible. It's possible. Anything's possible. Let's go ahead and get that data, though. So ETH one day here, I got the ETH one day data here and I'll just throw it in this, uh, this data folder here. Well, I'll just throw it in the ETH, uh, the cell may go away. Copy path. Okay. Sell in may and go away. Test two. It's not true for BTC data, but is it true for Ethereum data? I don't know. Eight trades. It's not true for the original Ethereum data. Let's see the optimization. If you hit the jackpot also, why not try something else? Let's try with Soul. Okay, now we're getting to the dirty dirties. Does Coinbase have XRP on it? Anybody know? Coinbase have XRP on it. Who's the oldest? Doge? Who's the oldest coin they got? Four, 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 seven. We got a smart guy. We got a smart guy up in here. Four, 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 seven. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Blood. I don't know what that is. Okay, here we go. Selling man go away is profitable for altcoins. That's the assumption I'm making here. No, it's not. That's that's stupid. That's stupid. That's a stupid assumption, but it's just uh it is what it is. We got the data back and it's better. It's better for for ETH than BTC. So BTC above, ETH below, ETH below, but it's not enough data. And now we're going to get really dirty with it and use Solana, which there's not enough data. Let's see how many weeks it goes back. Just 2021. Get out of here. This is stupid at this point. 
this is a stupid test to run, but I'm just going to run it anyways, because I just hear people yelling, selling may go away all the time. And like this year it actually kind of works. So, <laughs> so like I'm wanted, I've been wanting to test it, you know, why not? This is what we do, dude. So you can see Solana selling may go away. So far it doesn't work. Uh, XRP was not on Coinbase. Um, so data will be gapped. Yeah. I'm curious. What was it? What was our earliest altcoin? I mean, ETH, it went, it went, um, BTC, then ETH, obviously. And I wonder what the other one was. So return for soul, you know, three trades. I'm not even going to put it on the thing, but you know, the interesting one is Ethereum. And a lot of the times alts follow Ethereum. So You know, so you can see the return here is three X buy and hold, three X buy and hold. Based off of what is this? Eight years of data, so pretty good. Got eight trades, eighty-seven percent win rate. sell day okay well sell in may and go away is actually legit <laughs> i think it's legit now i like okay so but it's like you have to hit it perfectly well maybe not let's see let's see let's uh let's see what happens if you don't hit it perfectly so sell day let's just make it uh i'm gonna i'm gonna force it to test some other things here let's uh Let's say sell day is, it says the 24 is the best. So let's say what happens if you do it on the 15th and it says buy day on the 11th, but like, you know, what if, I, if it's on the fifth? Sell it may go away. All right, I'm out fellas. Cause it's July, a couple months late, but hey dude. Backtest says just sell me and go away. So I'm just going to bounce. I'm out. I'm capping B, but that did lead me to another idea. Do you mind if I share it with you? I want to chunk the data. I want to cut it up some more. Let's cut it. Let's cut up that data a little bit more. See, since we got the, we got the cold hearted winters and the, the Solana summers. So 31,000 sell in May, go away. Peace. That's it. That's it, dude. Four alts, sell in May, go away. Hell <sighs> yeah, bro. I use Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Um, do I use Markov models? No, but I was just researching that today, actually. So that me amigo is heavy shimbus from the, the divine. That amigo is talk that I do not understand. That amigo is very smart words and I do not understand it. So dumb it down for me, please, please, please. Let's go ahead here and see what else we can do. Sell it may go away. Let's chunk it up. How about that? I like the sell in May and go away. So please use a script like below in order to remove May through October, May one, one through what's before October, September, September 31st, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August 30th data from the uh the whatever whatever csv i put in okay so yeah we're gonna have another cutter upper 
cut to cut to cut to cut to no summers. Cut it up, dude. Cut it up. Exclude. Yep, get the whole summer out of there. Seasonality, dude. It's on our list, bro. And this is all I do is we built this list. Okay, we've been building this list for a while. And I'm just going straight down the list because this is not rocket science, bro. It's not rocket science. It's follow a system. The system I personally use, the RBI system. You can use whatever you want, something to keep you on track research strategies and alpha generation techniques put those strategies on a piece of paper or whatever and then back test those strategies those ideas the alpha generation whatever ideas you have dude it's all about ideas dude but then test the ideas dude so where did i get selling may and go away all these people yell it all the time and they have been it's been a meme forever so i just back tested it bro that's it, dog. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Share the data. Do you use data bento for traditional stock trading? I don't do traditional stock trading. I don't do other stock. I don't do stocks, bro. Stocks are boring. Snooze, snooze. Snooze, snooze, snooze. Data Bento seems chill. Christina, she was chill. We did the pod. We did the podcast a few months ago or a year ago, and she's chill. I mean, she knows her stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. Maybe that's a good data source if you're trading that stuff. But if you're trading equities and stocks, you're just a boomer, and it is what it is. So it's just boring over there to me. So I'm not interested. I'm out. I'm out for now. Maybe someday, maybe one day when I get like, uh, when I need more stability, but I don't need stability. I need volatility B. I need volatility. I need fun. I need fun every single day. I want to have fun, fun, fun. But yeah, it seems like a good data source. Shout out to them B data bento. Always and forever. All love, all love. Let's go ahead here and say cut no summers. We don't want these summers no more, dude. File path. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. No summers. Okay, let's try it. Dude, now we have all this test data here. Dude, 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 this is sick. Oh, but this isn't going to work too well. Well, I guess we'll just do it on this one. I say it's not going to work too well because we don't have that much data. I mean, we could get more for sure. But what I'm saying is I'm not going to be able to do it for all of them. Okay. Seasonality. No summers. Sin summers. 10-1. Yeah, boy. Let's see if it goes to what we need. Dude, I love this game so much. I'm so grateful to be here. This game is so fun. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Don't get too juiced now. Okay, it was 4.30 to 10-1. Took the summers out. No summers. No sleep. I want to get this in here and be real with you. Because this is a lot of data. Let's put it in there. Let's say ETH. Copy path. Sin summers. We're the summer sinners. Sin means without. Just for for you uh, <coughs> non-Spanish speakers, small brain people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke because I, I've I've been trying to learn forever, and I'm just still I still don't know Spanish. <laughs> I still don't know it, dude. Okay, what else we got here? We got the six six months. Let's get some more data up in here, B. Let's get the ETH six hour choppered out. Somebody's on the chopper. They choppered them. Was it a long or a short? I'm thinking it was a short choppered out of here. Woo, 354. Don't let that be you, dude. 354, 354 thou wow. Chopper out. 
Okay, let's go ahead here and get this no cut summers. We don't want the summers no more, dude. Let's get summers out of here. Open and close a thousand weeks. Yes. Copy? No way. I need to copy the path, B. Come on, let's keep going. Keep swimming. Keep going, dude. Keep going. You can have it all. I promise you. You can have whatever's in your mind, but your mind is probably full of trash, dude. Come on. Clean out the trash. Spend some time in your mind's eye. And you can have anything, dude. I can see it. I can see what's in your mind. I can see it. No, I'm not talking to you, Siri. I love you. But I'm not talking to you right now. Okay, so no summers. I like this. We got three cut it ups now. Three cut it ups now. Boy, stop it. Let me go ahead and answer a couple of these questions. Haha, ha, I agree. The barrier to entry too pricey with the regulation stuff. I get you. I mean, not really what I'm thinking, but it's not. There's no barrier to entry. It's super easy to get in. Interactive brokers. I'm set up. I already got algos that work there, but it's just like I don't. I'm just not interested in it right now. I like crypto, and I started with crypto, so I just, I just play with the numbers that I'm actually interested in because I don't know. I just, I don't. I find finance to be not that fun. So I try to make it more fun and, you know, trading memes is more, <laughs> more fun than trading like, you know, equities. Are you using a workstation right now or like a souped up laptop to trade with a few monitors? Nah, I just got one monitor. I mean, it's a 50 inch TV, but, um, and a laptop and a server. Trent says, however, I would not knock it 50% if you buy every year on May 2nd, if it's a weekday and sell May 7th, 50K. Um, Daryl says, do you feel the speed affects most of what you do? No, I don't feel speed affects anything I do because I'm not an HFTZ is high frequency trading maybe someday maybe someday oh we got the data cool 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 so here we go let's go ahead here and get that eth data up in here b 1000 weeks of eth data copy path hey how did that six hour no summers look looks good to me boy look good to me all right, let's go ahead and run it with the uh, no summers ETH. Uh, no summers ETH, dude. All right, let's get it. Run it up. Okay. All right, look at that. No summers ETH. But I actually want to run this data copy path first and last. I want to do non market hours as well. Yes. That's going to be nice. Okay. Run it. Okay. Last hour, first last hour. That's not going to work for six hour data, dude. That's not going to work, dude. All right.
All right, dude. This is far. This is far. This is far. I love this. So now we can test the no summers. No. Okay, I think this is good. I've shown you what two or three backtests today. Sal in May. That was a fun one. The quad in May. And got this one optimizing on the quad MA. Or 35, 31. This one's going to take forever, but saw a Gucci. Six. I'm just going to let this run all day, and then I'll come back tomorrow with the, the data. And we'll just do this loop. Let's just do this loop for the next, I don't know, let's do it for the next seven years. All right, that sounds fair. We're going to do this same loop every single day for the next seven years. No, 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 no. Six years. I said till year 10, I'll show you everything. At year 10, I'm going to be too good. <laughs> Much love. I'll see y'all later.